Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss what is HTTP Catch Manager and how we can use it in our JMeter. Before diving into that, we'll just see what is, is a catch, right? So, let us go to our Firefox. So, let me um, just give Flipkart.com. You can see all these requests, right? Get request, post request. We are having with different, see, with the post request 200 status is there. Sometimes it will be 500, 404 requests. Everything is there, right? See, you can see the transfer data is also catched. So, through HTTP Manager, we can see the catch data also and we can improve our performance. For that, we'll see in JMeter. So, I have added a request called HTTP request. I have added flipkart.com. So, I'll add a listener. Let's take, I'll have a simple listener. First, I'll add, first, I'll add view results tree. Then, I'll add summary report listener. Two things. So, in the thread group, I have given loop count as 10. So, let me just run for 10. So let me see whether I'll get all the proper re proper response here. Let me go to summary report. You can see the average millisecond it is taking 1.4, 1.5. So for, for all the 10 requests, let us see the average time it will take. See, 1.7 milliseconds for each request it took. If you see the view results tree, it has also captured a lot of data. See, many things have, it has captured. So, in order to get this, in HTTP request, you have to add this, HTTP, HTTPS flipkart.com. In advance, you have to add retrieve all embedded services. I am retrieving all the services. So, there will be a catch data, right? Let's see. So, so these are all the data, response data you can see. Um, request you can see here. These are all the catch data which is coming here. Right. So now you can see summary report 1.7. Right. How to reduce that? So in in HTTP request, we can add one config element called HTTP catch manager. Last video we have discussed HTTP cookie manager. Right. In this we'll discuss HTTP catch manager. Right. You can catch up to the 5,000 requests. If you can add, if you want to add more, you can add, but you have to make sure. That you have you can change the heap memory of JMeter, right? So let me uh, toggle this, disable it. Let me dis uh, enable this catch manager, and let me add one more summary report. Let's go to listener summary report. Now I'll run the same thing for 10, 10 more requests. Okay. So thread group I have the loop count as 10. So let me open summary report. Let me click on start. So you can see it will be different. So you can see the time is already reduced. For 10 requests, it has taken 0.9 millisecond. For this, it has taken 1 point, sorry. It has taken 900 millisecond average, 910 millisecond. Here we have 1751 millisecond, which is 1.7 seconds. So you can see uh, here, after the 10 records, each and every record it is taking the same data right HTTP catch manager if you click on here only one request it has taken only the first one which will have all the data after that we will not have the remaining data see it won't it won't it would have not taken it so catch manager will be helpful to improve the performance so that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you're a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye